Champ and Patton, Mrs. Markham saw Oswald approach. Well, this man was walking along the sidewalk on 10th Street. This police car was uh, driving very slow down 10th Street. What happened? Well, the man kept walking, just like I say, with his hands down in his head. He, I didn't pay him no mind, I didn't care. And this police car kept coming on and coming on, and finally he stopped, and the man stopped. And uh, whether the man, the policeman say, come over to the car, talk to him, I don't know, but he went. Was he on the driver's side or on the other side? On the other side. And did he stick his head in the window? Yes, sir. He folded his hands like this. He put them in through the window, up on the window, and he leaned over like this. What do you remember about this man? Was he a big man or a small man? No, he wasn't a very big man. He was short, kind of short, as so I remember. Well, now, was he still standing there when Officer Tippett got out of the police car? Well, he got, you know, taken out, got out of the window, put his hands back down to his side, and stepped back got two steps. The policeman calmly opened the door. He calmly crawled out. And I, for me, I didn't pay no attention because I thought it was, you know, tall, friendly. Uh, and he, the policeman walked to the, got to the, even the front wheel on the driver's side, and this man shot it in the wink of your eyes. Just bang, bang, bang. And what did this man who had shot the officer, what did he do as soon as he had shot him? Did he move back or did he run or what? No, he, he didn't uh, break out and run fast. He walked fast down the sidewalk, back towards me, and then he seen me. And then he done like this. And of course I did too, and then I slapped my finger hands upon my face. But I couldn't scream. I couldn't move. But what does it do? Did he say anything at all to you? He did not. I, just like I tell you, I closed my eyes and my hands right there and then I stayed there a few minutes. And I was going to look and see if he's gone or coming after me or what. And I opened my fingers. And I looked and he was trotting off down across this lot up here. Then he wasn't even out of sight. He saw me go to the policeman. Now, he could have killed me, too. I knew I had to get help for this man. And I knew this police car, all police cars got radios in them. And I just, I'll do what I can to get help for this man. And I tried. 